Jamie Oliver's come a long way from the hard yakker of a sweaty London kitchen. These days, he's a global industry. He lives not far from his dad's country pub in rural Essex, and it's there that he grows the produce for his latest show, Jamie at Home. And, of course, to the Supply 15 restaurant, the London eatery he set up to give disadvantaged young people a chance in the food industry. Michael Holland got a very lucky tour around Jamie's veggie patch. For me, this is quite quiet, relaxing. You know, to have this place, this has been a, like, a seven, eight year project for me. No one lived here for 22 years. And, you know, I've got a pretty, pretty bonkers life. And you know, with kids, I just, I just craved a bit of normality. So to find this place in the village where I grew up in means I can go down the pub and I don't get hassled and I can get pissed and, and sort of, like, you know, have a good time like anyone else. Um, all the people I know, you know, it's waving, morning, morning. It's just, just normal life, really. We've got squashes, pumpkins, all the lovely Italian leaves over here. When you start off thinking about growing, whether you're a big old butch builder or all black or whatever, like just a couple of tomato bags or a couple of square metres of good soil. Red ones, yellow ones, candy stripe ones, carrots, that's the third lot in. If you can master knocking a brilliant salad out, um, I think you're on the good good way to good cooking you. Swiss chard, parsnips, a million different cabbages. The fact that you can cut your stuff, wash it and eat it within an hour, you know, that is kind of like the holy grail of kind of like getting the good stuff in your kids or the mother-in-law or, you know. But you wouldn't get too much good stuff in your mother-in-law, would you? No, nah, well, you know, I've been trying lead and, and various, you know, uh, deadly nightshade, but it's not working for me. <laughs> <laughs> marigolds. Now, probably one in three households in, in New Zealand have got a marigold plant somewhere. And um, ideally, when the leaves, they're most beautiful, when they're about that size, they're absolutely fantastic. And that part of a, 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 a mixed salad, taste it. It'll have like slightly peachy, mustardy. If you think about how peppery a rocket leaf is it, and I know it's peppery in your mouth, but imagine it with, you know, lovely vin balsamic vinegar and good olive oil, a bit of salt and pepper, and then have a crunchy salad. Gives it a light, it's like Viagra. Keeps you going. Being a foodie, yep. is it all about snob value for some people? Um, I think like anything, you can make it snobby. Definitely you can make it so snobby. But, you know, if you break it down into sort of layman's terms, it's about, bro it's about growing shit and cooking shit, really. And uh, am I allowed to say shit? Not really. Shall I say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple of acres where we grow stuff just for 15 restaurants. We pick it out of the ground, it's in the restaurant three hours later. Brilliant. We brought most of the soil in here from the middle of England where it's really good sort of a fertile, light soil, and, and we put loads. I can't believe it's come to the day where we actually pay for uh, tons and tons of horse shit to come down, you know? It's like, it's a revelation in your life. My dad nicks quite a lot of stuff. Does he? Yeah. Well, you come down in the middle of the yeah. night. I, all those years after looking after me, my dad, it's, it's really quite funny. Um, I said to Pete, the gardener, the other day, I said, um, if you ever hear my dad whistling, he's stealing. And he does, he comes down like this, and he's like, he comes up in his bloody van, and he's like, And it's like saying, I'm here, but it's fine. Everything's cool. I'm whistling, so I'm not hiding. And then he's like bloody fleecing all this stuff. Um, and he's taking it back to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we've got an invoice waiting for him. It's just coming at the end of the year. Now, let me show you something. Come over here, big boy. You can follow. Let's have a look. I'm going to parboil, roast these babies, and I'm going to incorporate them into the most incredible salad that hopefully you've ever eaten. You've got three colours there. You've got a purple, you've got a yellow. I've got red dried chilli. Not loads of chilli so it's like a curry, just a little bit so it's like a little hum in the background. So I'm just going to crush them up. Have a little go at that, big boy. Just a little bit more? Yeah. Come on, give it some. You, 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 that's, no, you do that really well. <laughs> Um, right, spices go in, and I'm just almost dressing it like a salad, right? And then you can just smell it, smell it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's more than carrots now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's proper. Avocado is quite a similar texture to the carrot. And if you want to make a really good, proper salad that just blows you away, mm. you don't want everything to be the same texture. You want soft, 
crunchy, you want sweetness, sourness, you want fragrance and stuff like that. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to get crunch from the toast. Yep. Softness, softness and spice. So we can start, you know, laying these around. Look at all those absolutely amazing colours. Those could be Awakuni carrots. Awakuni. So if there's anyone from Awakuni, can they send me some seeds of your famous carrots? Because I'll grow them here. Respectfully, they'll be a little bigger. Yeah? Mm. Well, size isn't everything, is it? And then you take a few of these delicious salad leaves and the bread here, and we're going to make this... Just plate this little baby up. Stay there. Stay there for Mr Cameraman. Finish that with some beautiful dressing over the top. Get in your dog. Mm. I didn't give you any avocado. Here, put that in your mouth quickly. So you get the full experience. That's it. Is that the flowering Viagra? The flowering Viagra. Really good. I'm pleased with that. It'll give you good erections for that week. Very good. Thank you very much, yeah? My pleasure. Thank you for coming. Mm -mm. That's New Zealand close up.